So the lady in the photo is named Hope Miller. She met her husband while she was living here and they courted on the estate. When it comes to the highlands of North Carolina, no trip is complete without America's largest home. Biltmore has a story to tell. So finding this was just like finding a piece of history. And then just to, to have the further research to find out his story. But there's also a preservation piece that is so important. This is actually the first elevator in Asheville and one of the first electric elevators in the United States. Wow. Going up. Here we give you a rare look into that magic. My name is Winnie Titchener Coyle and I am Associate Archivist at Biltmore. I usually tell people is that an archivist is like a librarian, but for old things that you can't check out. We have a photograph collection, which is about 10,000 images. We have a drawings collection, which contains architectural drawings and landscape drawings. We have a manuscripts collection. Every day we have a more complete record of the history. So these pictures are from the oral history project that you're working on, and they are fabulous. The pet deer, for example. Yes. So the oral history project first began in the 1980s. People who had worked here in George Vanderbilt's time around the turn of the century as maids and other people who worked in Biltmore House. The project has evolved to encompass a lot of people who grew up on farms who still have memories of living here. This is the pet deer who belonged to Rural Austin, who was a gentleman I spoke with a few years ago. And there are other photographs that he shared where Jim is kind of um, sitting down like a dog and then jumping up to have a Jim the deer. treat. Yes, Jim and this, okay. this deer is named Jim. This is um, a photograph from the Holt family. This is from a house that was near Deer Park, where the Deer Park restaurant is today. And this was their Christmas card. This is a family that was involved with the dairy. They worked here for a long time and they would host a lot of holiday parties. Ms. Miller came on her 92nd birthday with her daughters. They had this photo taken of themselves in front of Biltmore House and um, a little while after this was taken, he shipped off to go fight in World War II. He would carry this photo around in his pocket and you can see the crease lines from where it was folded. Uh -huh. And yeah. he would tell people that this was his house <laughs> back in North Carolina. And what would people say to him? I'm not sure. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like for a lot of families who worked here as farmers that weekends were a time where they could be together with family and relax and get together with other families who lived here. Biltmore, among historic house museums, Biltmore is really lucky that we have so much documentation and so much in our archives, but there is a lot that does not make it to the written record, like how it would have been to live here and a day in the life and the daily routines of families here. Jim the Deer. It's a good name for a deer. <laughs> There's another deer Jim. picture in the folder, and it's, I think the deer is named Bessie. Bessie the, but and Jim. The, well, and that deer had a mom who was a cow. So okay. they would just have these family arrangements. <laughs> yeah, that's mm -hmm. fun, okay. So there's somebody hugging a deer while the cow looks on. Gotcha. I've always wanted to work in a museum and particularly uh, hands-on with the collection and so to come into work every day is just like being in a dream. My name is Lenore Hardin and I'm Associate Collections Manager at Biltmore. In these drawers, we have some of the smaller, finer accessories, oh, such as jewelry, necklaces, there's a hair comb. I think there's a lot of behind the scenes work go that goes on that um, people don't realize when you have over 35,000 objects to care for, that that adds up to a lot of time and a lot of attention to detail. When I first started, planning for this storage space, I envisioned it to be like a large, highly organized walk-in closet. 
What is special about this one? So that is a replica of a brooch that George Vanderbilt had created for his wife Edith as a wedding gift in 1898. We reproduced that. So this staircase is unique, it's beautiful. Where are we going? So this open air stairwell leads to the bachelor's wing of the house where the single male guests would have stayed. This livery coat was discovered during an inventory of a clothing closet. When I was cataloging, this is um, the label that I found inside a pocket. And as you can see, it says S. Patrick, which was just enough information for me to be able to look it up and, and find the name in our archives. Sefton Patrick came to Biltmore House to work for, the, for Mrs. Vanderbilt in 1921. And unfortunately, shortly thereafter, he became ill with tuberculosis. When Edith found out that he was ill, she started to pay for his medical expenses. I had to felt like such a wonderful moment. To it be able it to was connect all the dots. It was really neat. I'm not sure what kind of paint she would have used. Cornelia Vanderbilt Cecil was she loved to make art and she loved to draw and we have evidence of that here now where she has done some art on the backs of some of the doors in this area of the house. Most people don't get to see this because it's your office. That's right. right. That's so right. it's it's a pretty special piece that built more. Yeah. She would have been a mm -hmm, teenager in early 20s, and we believe that this was done after a trip that she had taken with her mother to Asia. It's special to me because it shows that Biltmore was a home, that was a place where they were comfortable, where they expressed their creative sides, really could relax and, and feel at home. So there was quite a bit of preservation work that had to go on on the rooftop. Tell me a little bit about that. That's right. Um, we recently had to repair the North Tower Ridge Cap that you'll see up here. People don't think about Biltmore Spring Lakes. Or such a huge house as Biltmore. It's quite a big deal. Mm -hmm.